are you doing with the cup? The only cup we needed is development. We don't need any cup from any country. We don't need any cup. What we need is a cup of development. The cup to, to bring a good load. Not a World Cup. Which World Cup? What we are talking about is a good rope, 24 hours for the light. Nobody live here forever. If that person there is understanding lives, nobody shall, I did not even hear, whoa, which, which cup? Onye kini e butelu cup, kau kau kau. E ji cup we megi. Inke e butelu e butelu be kod. Viewers and subscribers, welcome back again. This is BVI Channel One, where we tell you the undiluted truth. Nigerians, in particular, let us address this issue once more. This country, under this current government is a complete failure monumental failure just the match between nigeria and ghana that happened in abuja the dss came up with a memo that the ipob are planning to lay siege at the stadium to attack the president because i had they said the president want to watch the Nigerian match live. Whereas the same DSS, having all this intelligence report, could not have the same intelligence report about the attack that happened at Kaduna Railway. And as well, the attack that happened at the Kaduna airport. No, they don't get intelligence report. They reach that side. Their intelligence report, no, they touch light that side. But they want to heap whatever failure of this country on the IPOB. And mind you, let me tell you, whenever you see federal government say IPOB, they are talking about Ndibo, particularly. It doesn't matter whether you believe in Biafra or you are part of agitators of Biafra. Once they mention IPOB, it's all about indigenous people of Biafra from the southeast. So they have orchestrated and perfected the act of labeling a whole nation of Igbo nation, particularly terrorists. That's what they say. But we all know that what happened during or after that match, it what happened after that match, not during the match. After that match, we are Nigerian people who are disappointed about the failure of the Super Eagles to qualify for the World Cup. This is not the first time it is happening. Why try to attach Ndigo or particularly IPOB to this act? Just give a dog a bad name and hang it. Give Ndibu a bad name and hang it. Up. Every problem of Nigeria, somebody will have, wife will have discouraged, they will call it is the agitators from the southeast that caused it. You can imagine. Now, let me ask Nigeria, especially the Nigerian government, how do you expect the super egos to qualify? How do you expect? the eagles to fly with all the killings and bloodshed happening in nigeria how do you expect just a day after the attack on the train without any form of you know respect i didn't even see the handband and if there is any, me, I don't know. But I'm sure there is none. For the people that are dying on daily basis in Nigeria. Especially the one that happened just at the backyard of Abuja. You want to qualify. How can you qualify just during the CAF Nations Cup? Go 
someone that Buhari called on foe, they lost the match. That you expect the Super Eagles to even win a match where Buhari will be present. How is that possible? You know, don't see how bad luck the Polo person. Now, the worst part of it is that the Super Eagles or the S Super Eagles players gathered together to offer prayer in anticipation that another calamity will befall Nigerians in the name of President on that Tinubu. And you expect, you expect Nigeria to qualify. <laughs> you are dreaming, wake up. I can tell you that even a chicken that's a fowl that is still under a month will fly above the super egos. I can tell you that with what is happening in Nigeria. How do you expect to fly? Then, after you have, you know, failed to qualify, and the people express their frustration. Now people are now saying, no one the IPOB. Or when the IPOB. They are the IPOBs. They are the ones that came in to vandalize the stadium. Nigeria, eh? When I get cruise. But me, my responsibility, not to say the truth the way it is. We know that the people that flooded that field are mainly Aramajiri. Oh, Fama, not them. Mainly. And from across Nigeria, many people who are frustrated, who are even still hoping, but can they never match Nigeria? Because me, <laughs> I don't even want it. Despite me being not just a football lover, but I was played. I can never waste my time and energy watching. What do you even want to? What do you even want to watch at the World Cup with the Eagles being involved? When your house is on fire? When people's lives are what less than a car in Nigeria? When people can no longer move freely, safe? When the blood of Nigerian people drench the soil of this country in Nigeria qualify for World Cup? My people, Nigeria, a cruise. And now, you will begin dawn on some of the Nigerian people, say that they be the victim of this Nigerian state. What is the solution? Because I can't say all this without preferring solution. Return Nigeria back to regional government. Restructure this country back to regional government. Let everybody find their level. Now, simple case. Now the simple solution to all of this, whether the insecurity problem, economic problem, um, um, social division and injustice, all of that will be solved with one stroke. Return back Nigeria, back to regional government. Let everybody answer their own name. I know those of you from the north, you don't like to hear this truth. But last, last, now I will be the victims. The same with people from the West, South, and even the East. Some of them are saying, no, no, we want this, we want that. Listen to everything, there is a process. Return Nigeria back to regional government. Let everybody answer their name. And I can tell you, the problem of Nigerians will be brought to a reasonable stop. That is all I'm saying. I'm signing out. Please drop your comments. Let me have your opinion on this. I'm signing out. I don't want to say much. Subscribe if you have not. And share this video if you agree with what you just heard. Bye-bye.